As you can imagine, the ad's attempt to link certain gun control proposals to Jim Crow laws stands at the height of this controversy. And joining me now to respond to her critics, the woman behind the ad, Cure President uh, Star Parker is back. Star, welcome back. Well, thank you. It's good to be back with you, Sean. Uh, you've heard the criticism. Reaction? Mm. Well, it's a controversial ad, I'm sure. It makes people very uncomfortable to point to that point in time in American history. But we must. We must because the Senate, the Democrats in Senate, are insistent on passing background check laws. They're insistent on looking at the Second Amendment and saying some people, some Americans, should not be able to exercise the right to bear arms. And so I thought appropriate to remind Americans that we've been here before. You have to ask yourselves, we need to ask ourselves, how is it? that 5% of the population, the KKK, 6 million people in a country of more than 100 million, how is it that that 5% were able to wreak havoc over 4 million new citizens, the former slaves? And one of the ways is because they systematically, the Democrats in power, the Democrats in political power in the South, systematically passed gun control laws in black code so that blacks would not be able to exercise their right to bear arms. You think when that's... we start talking... What about? What, I'm do, sorry. do you think that is the motive of some people now? Background? Oh, come on. This, these are the same Democrats that gave us Obamacare that said once we pass it, you'll find out what's in it. Let me tell you something about this background check uh, discussion that we don't get a chance to ask about. How do we know what those qualifiers are going to be? And I think that all Americans should be concerned about these qualifiers because if they're saying that if you've had any mental problem in your background, well, does that mean they're going to ask questions about abortion? Because people who've had abortion, according to studies, have a tendency to have mental challenges later on. Are we going to start asking about divorce because when you look at what happened at Sandy Hook, the woman who bought the weapons that her, her son stole, she had gotten a divorce and she was out drinking. Are we going to ask about drinking patterns? Are we going to ask people about their medical records in general? I think that we should know what's in this before we you start know, saying it's a good idea to do background checks.